Today, I consider myself the luckiest man on the face of the earth. Amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, or ALS, is a devastating neurodegenerative disease. Those affected slowly lose all muscle control throughout their body, many in the prime of their life. They are told there is nothing they can do, no cure, and to expect to die within two to five years. That I might have been given a bad break, but I've got an awful lot to live for. Lou Gehrig was the first spokesman and hero to which the condition is known, diagnosed in his 30s and died at age 37. To his wife and caregiver, and to all heroes and caregivers, we dedicate this film and book. Hi, I'm Dr. Jared Nielsen. What if ALS is reversible? I have personally consulted with patients diagnosed with ALS who are gaining rather than losing functionality. The 17 people you will see in the following clips are proof that ALS is reversible, and they represent only a fraction of those who have found successful ways to partially or completely heal ALS. Millions of dollars are spent each year researching a cure, yet proven effective treatments for ALS available today are being ignored. This film and book project will inform ALS patients, families, caregivers, and doctors so we can have thousands more living rather than dying from ALS. Please help us by funding this project now. I noticed that I started feeling stronger. Now the process of the bathtub filling, I was still in a wheelchair, took probably another year, year and a half before I really felt like I was back. It's when I see people that haven't seen me for two or three years and they tell me I'm moving a whole lot better. They learn how to stop the progression and then eventually reverse it. The biggest thing that was changing was our mental attitude. We started to really believe that we've got some control here. We really believe we can do this. And the more we believed it ourselves, the more we were able to do. I did not realize how many people um, ALS affected. And at my next head bus, I had people there that were just waiting to talk to me. And he checked me over, and when he got back to me, I said, what stage am I in? And he says, well, let me put it this way. You're doing very well for the stage you're in. You should make it to Thanksgiving. And this was from June in 1988. My strength has improved, my speech has improved, my walking has improved, uh, swallowing. Uh, uh, I feel like uh, I'm on the way back. Maybe the platform God has put me on is so that others can see that he is a healer, that you can hear the worst possible news. And even what doctors may say, God has the final say. To be able to bring our bodies back to performing the way God intended them to perform in the first place uh, is a major catalyst to what I think has improved my health. That's not the DNA. That, that's just bricks and mortar and wood and nails. That's just stuff to build with. Something's telling that what to build, and that's infinitely more important. When they say I'm on the channel protocol, they get prepared and immediately they're told that it's not the reason your disease progression has slowed. Everything is considered snake oil. I'm just glad that, that I went and found snake oil on the internet in the form of Eric Edney's example because he had he gave hope. Everybody else was saying nothing would work. And Eric Edney said, look, I tried this and it worked. And it makes sense to remove toxins, to optimize your nutrition, to have a positive mental attitude. These are the things the body needs to heal itself. I have never liked drugs. There must be a better way. And you know, drugs are very dangerous. It is horribly, 
horribly fearful to be given a death sentence. And one has to work at maintaining one's faith by constantly going back to whom? God. The sentiments are the key to um, uh, the greater one than anyone. I know that when I stop taking coconut oil, that the coconut oil and the magnesium chloride, that eventually I will go like everybody else. Somewhere in the, in the front of my brain was I have ALS. And I wanted that gone. And the day I surrendered, let it go. If I have it, so be it. I'll do everything I can and we'll see what comes of it. From that day on, I started to get better. Hi, I'm Alan Scott Douglas. And I'm Patricia Tomowski. We're the filmmakers. The people you just saw improved because they used many different protocols to heal, not just one. They used various combinations of diet, nutritional supplements, detoxification, positive mental attitude, emotional healing, meditation, or prayer until their disease reversed. Yet ALS researchers and clinical trials have not confirmed this because they are only testing one treatment at a time instead of testing this multifaceted, individualized approach. People diagnosed with ALS can be helped, but they're still suffering and dying every day. ALS survivors, caregivers, families, and doctors need this information now. Thank you to the hundreds around the world who have already donated, enabling us to get as far as we have. We still need funds to finish the project. Please. Help us by donating to this project now so those dying and suffering from ALS can begin to heal now. Thank you.